So chat, I decided to do Zone of the Enders, the second runner Mars, and um, I this is I, I kind of blame Solar for that. I saw him play the game, and I joined the call with him, and I had some personal memories of playing this game. There's a lot of there's a lot of like options here. We can blame Solar for a lot of things. I mean, sure. Oh God, this is so complicated. <laughs> See, lock on, dash, guard, all right. Select sub. Uh, okay, so the D-pad is also selecting um, it's a positive reaction is on the joystick. Oh, oh, pro. I think this is going to be some trial and error. So attack, down, up, sub, and grab, okay. And that's the camera, all right. Oh, so you're, oh, you're, you're, you're playing like a PC version of this. You're. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, this difficulty is for <laughs> players, brand new to action games. It features simplified controls. I mean, I play games to have fun, but I don't want to look like a cheap ass. Ah, you know what? Just go, go whatever speed you're comfortable with. Okay. And it's Riley. Hello. Hi, Riley. What's up, player? Golden is, uh... Golden's gonna get in the mech crotch. Um, ah, okay. Oh, the only thing I know about this game is that it's from the same guy who designs the mechs from Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, it's Hideo Kojima. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, the artist specifically, who does the... Yeah, design. I can't... I can't remember them by name, but there is there is an artist that worked on the Metal Gear series that was also, all uh, you know, yeah, you, you, you know they had the same <laughs> team and everybody working on this is so like might as well. Yeah, basically, it's like kind of like how um, Toriyama would work on like fucking Chrono Trigger and all uh, those games too. Yeah, he was Dragon Ball for the artwork. Man. Rest in power, power Toriyama. Rest in peace. Yeah. Oh, uh, that was... That shook me. It shook a lot of us. There are... Yeah. There is so much stuff that takes inspiration from the stuff he oh, did. Yeah. Like, the winner of the year was so, something I wasn't aware of, but it makes absolute sense, was... Uh, Figuro Miyamoto, like, he even talked about how, like, some of his inspirations for, like, early Mario stuff was inspired. Dr. Slump. Yeah, inspired by Dr. Slump, which... With a, a Raleigh, because the way she would run is the same way Mario runs when, when he's, like, in 3D and stuff, usually, with his hands spread out wide Hold on, 200 hours? How many days is that? What is? Indications of Metatron, but it's way too short. Uh... Angie, Wait, Metatron. The landing point. I'll check it out. They, they have Does their they own name. God's voice? I'll be back soon. For a second, I thought yeah, I heard Megatron. No, Metatron is the voice of God. Much about back then. Hmm. Uh, yeah, well, if you divide piece of 200 by 24 hours, that's like <laughs> 8.3 That's me days, sometimes. So. Just the way he cr like punches the dashboard. Piece of junk. <laughs> Yeah. Salary? How much is he paid for? It better be good fucking money if you're doing this kind of shit in space. What the hell is that? What? This kind of looks like... Oh. I don't know. It looks like he's got bad news written all over it. I guess I'm supposed to follow this square. Use the left stick to move and the right to aim on camera. Alright. Yep. The... Square is kind of like a indicator. Oh wait! Oh my God, this thing is slow. All right, and the right yeah. trigger. Oof. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, Toriyama was involved with Chrono Trigger. I yep. think. Yep. I recognize the Chrono Trigger. Yeah. 
Yeah, we were just talking about it earlier. Um, like that, he, and he, there's a game coming out based off one of his series two called Sandland that's going to be coming out in the next couple months, actually. Yeah, which is, uh, it, it, it's crazy, uh, especially considering how like positive um, reaction and negative reaction. Like I saw a trailer that showed like the the anime for Sandland is like also coming to Hulu. And it's like, man, it's like so close, you know? Like, yeah. it was like a couple, like a month or so. And like, even fucking, like, you know, like Oda, uh, Tide Kubo, Kishimoto, all the big three <laughs> authors, were, they yeah. were all inspired and like they were his, he was their sensei, basically. Yeah. Like, like he, he inspired Kubo to keep going with Bleach. He, he was the sensei to both Kishimoto and, uh, <laughs> and Oda. Ah, uh, like so many people, like it's like even, Oda's taking the next month off from the manga because he's grieving over it, the whole thing. Yeah, Can't blame him. It's... I know. With how that much that guy works in general, where he's basically doesn't see his family, and oh, just son of a three bitch. hours of sleep, three hours of yeah. sleep a night. I'd say yeah, fine, yeah. Even though I'm getting worried about how close it's catching up to the anime, I'm still yeah, take the break. Ooh, the... that was quite a fall. It, it, it's... <laughs> It's it's also the the unfortunate problem of how overworked like yeah. Mangaka are in general, and it, it's it's becoming an epidemic, where it's like you see all these Mangaka who are just dying young because they overwork themselves, putting yeah, out all this content on like a weekly basis for years. It's frightening. Shut up! Wow! <laughs> I think he can hear us. Observation crews are goofing off again. Uh oh, that's no good. <laughs> What the hell is that? Oh, shut up. Oh. <laughs> oh, to the idiots making fun of Akira Toriyama? Fuck off. Just, they're not even worth your attention. Yeah, don't even yeah, do it it's, day. it's whatever. They're... they're mm, anime cutscene. Like... That, was, that was one of the things I thought was kind of interesting about this was that... They went with the whole, yo, let's just do 2D anime instead of everything being that? CG as it was previously. It kind of reminds. I kind of don't me, mind that. It kind of reminds me a bit of Mega Man X4 when they had anime cutscenes. What ship did you see? Yeah. Well, they did the same thing with Chrono Trigger too. They actually like animated all the things for the DS re uh, release and stuff like that. Oh, the DS portion yeah. I didn't know, but I remember there was a PlayStation release of Chrono Trigger. There wasn't any voice that, acting, there were just sound effects. And funny yep, enough, they oh. used the same, like, Dragon Ball Z sound effects. Like that iconic explosion <laughs> sound that... Yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. And that kind funny of enough, stuff. Um, Try to impersonate the sound effects. <laughs> oh, that didn't yeah, go well. My limb is damaged. Oof. Damn yeah, inciting incidents. Um, Get your ship down into the ditch and stay hidden. Although, uh, mentioning Mega Man X, uh, I know you had joined me when I started streaming X4, and I think about a week later, I, I finished that playthrough with X and got like 100%. <laughs> oh my god. Forgot how hard Sigma can be. Si like, Sigma's kind of designed to be hard. Okay, so he's in, um. Yeah. Ready for combat operation. Ready for he's combat operation. Okay. Love a thing. Oh gee, a new Mega Man X game. I wonder who the villain is. Dang it, Sigma. You know, there's like... I will say this, like... I don't know if this is a, like, a hot... Well, not even a hot take. I don't know if this is, like, a good take or not. Um... I honestly think that despite the bad voice acting and how stupid the plot is in that game, because... Yeah, the, the Repl Force's motivation is absolute dog shit. Uh -huh. But gameplay-wise, I think it's the best entry of all the X games. Oh no, it's like DMC, uh, the first Devil May Cry game, where the voice acting is kind of, I gotta fill your dark soul with light, light with the voice <laughs> crack and everything. It, it, like, the cutscenes are hilarious in their own right, but the gameplay is solid, you know? Take it from Shuka rating. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> okay, so it looks like some kind of a hack and slash. Alright, cool. Oh, oh so yeah. you can shoot? Cool. Confirming the oh, yeah. destroyed. What is the efficiency of this frame? This is orbital frame Jehuti. 
Do you want me to explain how to manipulate the frame? Who is this? This is detached backup battle unit, Ada. So this is a battle Ada. computer, isn't it? More reliable. Shoot and slash, computer. yeah. I'm completely different. Do you request control and Also, thank you, Shuka, oh, yes, for the rating. Please. <laughs> you were saying, Riley? Oh, uh, somebody in the, men in the chat mentioned Blue through. Dragon, too. That's uh, that's another throwback. Yeah, because Blue Dragon... So, like, Chrono Trigger was interesting because it was a collaboration with Toriyama's GMT art, uh, Nobu Uematsu composing music as uh, as he's done for, like, Final Fantasy, but also it was, like, composed for this. And, um... Press the y button to trying to remember... Press the A uh, button to descend. Press he was the guy that was like the big time. He was the guy okay. that was the big time director for Final Fantasy. Sorry to interrupt the oh, conversation. Oh. Sorry to interrupt the conversation. Oh, go for it. A charky. Was this originally for PS2? Yes. This okay. Somebody, this is, yeah. I think somebody hired the this voice actor to redo the lines for A and B because on the PlayStation oh. game, their buttons are different. They're like triangle, square, Entry circle, and X. Yeah. Uh. Oh wait, so like they actually they say the words like A and B and stuff like Yeah, like oh wow, they updated the hell out of this game. That's crazy. I mean they would have at least done this back in like maybe 06 or 07 when Alright, I gotta figure this out. Probably around the PS3 remakes for certain games. Yeah, it was like they put they they did an HD re-release on like PS3 and Xbox right. 360. Yeah. Jehuti is set up so they would have had to do those right recordings now. at least. Then. Jehuti is set up not to do that right now. Oh, it's the. All right. Do I have to go all the way around? I kind of glossed uh, over the I glossed over the dialogue while we were talking. Yeah, I, I think it, it's it's one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, make sure you, you move all around, around and all right this, you know tutorial stuff. All right, stupid obnoxious ad, I swear. Uh, uh ads. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, they're playing through Final Fantasy VII Remake, the first part that came out in 2020 for the first time, and. Alright. Pretty decent. Oh, right, I just remembered the guy's name. Uh, Hironobu Sakaguchi. He was the. Sakaguchi, right. Yeah. Uh, the Gooch, as sometimes people refer God to God damn it, I was just about to mention that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just buy it on Steam. I said goop. Um, but no, so it was like... <laughs> Sakaguchi, Umatsu, and Toriyama. So it was like those oh, three... God. And... Yeah, it's got bad news written all over it. Yeah, that does not look good. So, but again, you had all three of them work on Blue Dragon. So, you know, I never played the game, but I oh, watched the anime for a bit. I heard it was all right. It was until they stopped dubbing it by the third uh, season. Ah, okay, cool. Oh shit! I gotta turn around. Those are good. Shit! Shit! There we go. Straight to the left. Ah, I gotta get the feel of this. No. Oh yeah, it 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 takes a little getting used to. Okay, that's pretty cool. I will be right back. After these messages. We'll be right back. How many times have we memed that now? I don't know. What the hell was that? I don't know. 
Well, there go my ears. I think I have the regret of... I forgot, how was I supposed to aim again? Do I have to get closer? No. God damn it, Rally. Is that too loud? Hang on. No, I, I, I get the joke. I know. Oh, that is so satisfying. Oh, yeah. Slash it away. Cut, cut, cut. Dice to all the pieces. That's a lot of nuts! God damn it. <laughs> Chosen one! I'm coming! I'm coming! Chosen one! I'm coming! I'm coming! Chosen one! I'm coming! I'm coming! And it's like further distant. Chosen one! I'm coming! Where are you now? You may call me Betty. Isn't Betty a woman's name? Oh shit! The, mu up. the mouse was right there. Damn it. There was a mouse? A mouse was like captured on there. It's Damn it! Your way. Yeah, don't capture the cursor. That's just become professional that way. I the oh Jesus! Oh my God! Oh, what a bastard! Oh. All right, uh... God, that is so satisfying. It is, isn't it? That's why I love hacks and flashes. I know. I know that some people would talk about, uh, like, games like Dynasty Warriors and such. But they say, oh, you yeah. do is just press the button over and over and over and over. Yeah, but no, there's, you... if there's I'm back. Hi, Jerky. No, we were just making fun of how some people criticize hack and slash games like Dynasty Warriors and say yeah. something like, all you do is just press the button over and over and over and over. It's like, well, yeah. there's a fun factor to that, you know? Yeah, that's there, like, there is. Yeah, that's like saying if, like, in RPG games, you just go through a menu screen in a fight scene. It's like, well, yeah, but it's about, you know, strategizing. You. Can't get the it's, joke it's, out of my head. It, 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 it's the same. It's the same kind of dipshittery where people are like, oh, first-person shooters are just point and click, and it's like. <laughs> I, I guess if you your brain damaged, like what? Playing it down to I guess its most basic function, but the enemy destroyed. Yeah, it, it, just just like elitist saying, oh, I, I get into this tank and then I just pull this thing and suddenly the person is dead, you know? Yeah, it's like, oh, well, you just push the same button over and over again. I'm like. Let me tell you about the Atari 2600. Oh, God. <laughs> you ever heard of a game called Centipede? Galaga? We had one button and we liked it! Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> Jeez. Wait. Where's the... Where the hell is the... I just realized another thing is missing. Oh shit! I just now noticed the uh, the call roster is missing for some reason. Huh. Okay. Whoops, Daisy. Yeah, let's let's get that taken care of. Just so we know who's talking at some. There we go. That's better. 
Get over here, bitch! Oh. I, I had to look this up because it was starting to bug me. Uh, the artist and the designer that worked on Metal Gear, as well as Zone of the Enders here, Yoji Shinkawa, uh, is the artist. And man, do they have a very distinct style. Sounds all right. I remember seeing like there was this uh, they on Jobby the Hong's uh, videos a while back. He did this Zone of the Enders inspired Godzilla. It was like the same artist, and he made a basically a mech Godzilla that was inspired by Evangelion. I believe it. Actually, well, I got that. Well, now that you just mentioned, oh, 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 cool. Well, now that you mentioned Jabba the Hong, take me, my sweet prince. Put it in my ass. <laughs> I, love, I love Jobby's videos. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I also love the fact. So this was where I first learned. Uh, watching his videos was where I learned about the whole, like, there are companies that make some really good knockoff Transformers. Yeah. Like, right. Like, like, not knockoff in quality, but it's like we have made some tran we have made some quote unquote transformers, and we're legally allowed to sell them one because we're in China, and two because we don't have any of the like emblems or anything on it. Cheer you, sorry, you were saying? Yeah, and then, and then it's like, yeah, they don't have the symbols on them. But you could buy some stickers to put. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Some of those are some of those are actually kind of cool, though. Oh yeah, I've, I have wanted some of them at some point, like, but I'm like, nah, I have other priorities, you know. <laughs> like, I I would be fine buying some as long as they're not like in triple digits, because like, yeah, whoa, so, some of, some of the ones he looks at, it's like, I, I think. I think my Some wife would leave me if I spent that kind of money on an action figure. Like the uh, master, I kind of wanted the masterpiece Megatron. Not gonna lie. Or the masterpiece uh, Dinobot. Damn it! Stop using or the, the sword. Yeah. Uh, Beast Wars Megatron. The like my thing with like the masterpiece stuff Damn is it. they they are really cool mm. and they are. They are like modern marvels of engineering, mm. but as far as like something simple to play with, they are not. <laughs> no. Ouch! This is what I happens when you play how with long weapons. It take to transform like Megatron and the gun and stuff like that would take like <laughs> like half hour. Yeah, <laughs> at most, at least. Ah, Jesus! Fucking missiles! Piss off! And that's why, you know, and that is why I'm just happy with, like, you know what, like, I've got some simple Transformers that I, that I just buy, as well as, like, uh, I know I recently, like, I bought some, like, uh, McFarland DC characters that I really wanted. I'm waiting for a more permanent place to live before I start really collecting stuff for this yeah, like that, you know? Yeah, fair. Fair. But I want to. I want to so bad. Especially now that I have a 3D printer and I can print out my own figures and stuff. <laughs> if once I figure that out, I mean. You, I mean, you, you, you can. I think I'm you starting can. to get the feel it's... of the, uh... Okay, I guess not. <laughs> yeah, the zone, of the, zone of the Enders... Zone of the Enders is still pretty unique, even to this day. Apparently. Like, I... I can't think of too many other games that do what this does, maybe aside ah, from like a Jesus. like a Gundam game here and there? Pretty much, yeah. Like I remember playing this this came out like shortly after the PS2 came out, I can't remember first. Because I remember playing the, the first like, one, uh, yeah. Yeah. The second one was maybe maybe like in the middle of the PS2's life lifespan. Yep. Like Oh, okay, because it was the first one I played on my older cousin's console when I visited yeah. him for, like, Christmas or something. Yeah. Ah, Jesus! 